I decide to take a stand. This is my Rosa Parks moment, dude. Don't play with me. When she approaches, he punches her in the face. Action. What was that woman thinking running to that store talking about almost reparations? I had no idea the Target was giving out <laughs> reparations, huh? <laughs> that ain't even no black store. You should have went to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Going to Walmart asking for reparations sounds like the craziest thing in the whole history of the for world. For sure. But at least that's where like we mainly go. She went to Target. Hey, Walmart got shut down in Portland because of reparations. It's called stealing. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> they walking into Walmart, taking everything out of the store. Uh, man, I'm just talking about they stealing everything. This woman mm -hmm. had the audacity to go to Target and had a whole basket full of stuff talking about, I'm looking for my reparations. <laughs> right. Go get somebody for me to talk to so I can get my <laughs> reparations. And she ran up on that girl and she was just mm -hmm. towering over her, looking down at yeah. her like, you little white woman, you finna give me my reparations. And mm -hmm. I mean yeah, and that girl, she put her hands up because she was nervous. She was so nice about it. She was like, "You can come back tomorrow when <laughs> HR is here and and ask for a scholarship." What do you do if someone walks up to you and says, "I'm looking for my reparations"? I'm like, uh, "Aisle nine, motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> with the with the gift cards, huh? Mm -hmm. Go over there, look at the gift cards. There's a gift card that says "Reparations, forty acres and a mule." The mule right. is outside. How Bring about it to that? the register? Yeah, no, she went to the wrong place. <laughs> but she was so persistent, and that woman, she followed. Hey, she walked mm -hmm. behind the man. When I was watching the news clip, they said that she was running. That was in it. That was not accurate. She didn't chase anybody. She didn't no. run after anybody. Was she being very aggressive? Yes, yeah, she Absolutely. was being very aggressive. Mm -hmm. And she was violating people's personal space and personal boundaries. <laughs> but when she got into that office, <laughs> when she got into that office, huh? He said, I got uh -huh. your reparations right here. Bam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was so on fire. She didn't realize she was getting set up. Like he backed her all the way into the office. That white man lured her into his little nigger <laughs> trap. He oh. said, I got me a nigger bitch today. <laughs> <laughs> we keeping it real. Oh, my god. It goodness. really went wrong. It did not go the way she thought. I promise, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's nasty when you bring the racial element into it. But I'm a black man and mm -hmm. watching a black woman get knocked out by a young white man. <laughs> that makes me angry. Mm -hmm. It makes me angry. Yeah. I guarantee you, young man, if I came to your store, if I came to Old Sweet Target Fact. and I asked for my reparations. Fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You finna call the police. Right. 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 Because I'm, I'm going to take reparations out on your ass. Ass right. to be treated that woman. He was, yeah, ain't no man gonna hit you. I can't stand <laughs> cowards. <laughs> I can't stand no cowards. Cowards and bullies. Mm -hmm. These people. He took advantage of that woman, and she sat there so sweetly. She said, "This is my Rosa Parks moment. This is the day where I fought for reparations." And and she, her getting punched in the face puts us in a position to have an actual reparations conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm I live in America. I'm an American citizen. Uh, but my ancestors. They were slaves right here. Right, true. This is a fact. Mm -hmm. And so if you cannot acknowledge that having a person in bondage is going to severely impact their economic climb, yeah. man, then, then you're living in delusion. And for every black person who has a dollar right now and you think because you made a dollar that every black person is supposed to make a dollar, that's the exact same rhetoric that white supremacy uses. Mm -hmm. Why can't you just pull yourself up by your bootstraps? Yeah. Now, everybody doesn't have access to all of that. But when I looked at that video, I, it just made me think of mental health. Because being in, like you said, being in that type of environment when you feel like you need some help. Black men don't tell the truth. And I'm going to tell the truth. Being a black man in America is traumatic. It is. It is traumatic. Mm -hmm. And I have to have a, a, a level of discipline just so that I can interact in good faith with the people around me and not be angry. Yeah, it takes a lot of discipline, a lot of self. Tupac said it, man. Some, two, some, Tupac said someone has to explain why I ain't got shit. Yeah. And so I can sit there. And I believe in positive affirmations and doing the work <laughs> and all these things, right? You speak it till it happens. You need institutions to create wealth. True. Yeah. Uh, when and during World War II, we took all of our Japanese American citizens, we put them in an internment camp. We mm -hmm. had concentration camps right here in America for wonderful Japanese Americans. They weren't Japanese citizens; they were Japanese Americans. Yes. Mm -hmm. And after uh, World War II was over with, and they released these people from their concentration camps, they paid them. I did not know that. They paid these wonderful we individuals. We had concentration camps for Japanese in America? Yes, ma'am. What? We round, during World War II, after uh, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor, we rounded up all the Japanese citizens and had them in concentration camps. 
Wow. And this is Asian. Well, Japanese and Asian is different, but Asian, this is J- Asian American History Month. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. That's so, I did not know that. And so when you have that conversation, I mean, concentration camps are terrible. No human being should be in a concentration camp. Facts, right? Mm-hmm. And now if you can acknowledge that, then hey, shouldn't no black people have ever been slaves for hundreds of years? Facts. How in the world did slave owners get reparations for losing their property, but the property didn't become human and then get reparations for being enslaved? Yeah. Make that make sense for me. And Indians get to get their reparations. Slave owners had insurance on their slaves. Yeah. These are all facts. And so when I tell you that you profited off of my ancestors' actual uh, experience, that shit affects me Mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Hell, they, they want to talk about like, uh, we just now, oh, we, I don't even think they were out of the crack wars. Mm. We, we put lots and lots of black men in prison for, I mean, I had a friend, they gave him 33 years because he had two pounds of marijuana. What? 33 years. I mean, he was wow. he was a pusher. He was out there pumping, but they gave that man 33 years. Yeah, yeah. And so just the war on the black person in America is a fact. But for mm-hmm. me to say that, like, I want to I want to live in a post-racial society. But you don't want to live in a post-racial society. Right. You and don't. You, they don't think you should be mad about it either. I, I love all these white liberals and all these people who are uh, Democrat adjacent talking about end racism, end racism. Mm. You want to end racism, but you still hate black people. <laughs> I got one black friend. You don't want to call yourself no racist, but you don't like black mm-hmm. men. Right. You, you still feel intimidated. You still feel scared. Mm-hmm. You hate black people so much that a woman can ask you for reparations and walk up on you and you punch that woman in her face. Yeah, like you've really felt threatened. And then have everyone come around and say, ma'am, you know you were wrong. You know you were wrong. Man, hold on. I'm, I hate people being disingenuous. I can go into the store right now and if I start stealing from the store, they have no right to punch me in my face. Mm-hmm. Right. What? And so this woman is talking to a store employee and something gave him the courage to just take advantage of this woman for an easy knockout. He could have just, he cocked back. Like, <laughs> man, that dude, he, he could have maneuvered in that room. However, mm-hmm. he could have used an assertive tone. He could have, ma'am, stop. Yeah. Anything to resolve the situation. I mean, that's your job as mm-hmm. a security guard at a store is to do conflict resolution, not to punch your patrons in the face. Right. That was that was crazy. But what she did was so beautiful because she gave us the opportunity to have an honest conversation about the racial dynamic in America. Mm -hmm. Reparations is owed to black hmm, descendants of slaves. Okay, yeah, facts. (laughs) It's restorative, reparative justice for those who have been taken advantage of through this system. And there are people in Congress. There's a couple of people going there and saying and having this argument, trying to file for it. I am a veteran of the United States military. Uh, September 11, 2001 was my call to action to go and fight for freedom. What I thought was fighting for freedom, I had no idea that they lied about uh, Saddam Hussein having weapons of mass destruction. Mm. So he told this big old lie and got a young man that was 17 years old, gung-ho to go charge and fight for freedom. And for 20 years, we spent a trillion dollars a year to fight this war. We spent $20 mm. trillion dollars to go and fight for freedom. While my black men in America, my wonderful descendants of slaves in America, is still economically oppressed. And to say that, somehow you think that uh, that's controversial. Right. You can cut a check for COVID. Why you can't cut a check for reparations? These, these people spent $6 trillion in a fiscal year. Yeah. Talking about some COVID. That's ridiculous. And, and hey, God forbid, I don't want anyone to get sick and die. That's not what I'm saying. But when you have all this funding for all these other causes, mm-hmm. and when it comes to healing the greatest wound in American history, which is slavery... All you have to do is read a book. All you got to go do is look at the history and see that strange fruit, black people hanging from trees is one of the most horrific atrocities in the known world. Absolutely. That's how you know the agenda isn't to change. It's a capitalistic society, right? They want the poor to stay poor and the rich to stay rich. We're in a class war and they're standing... (laughs) And so mm-hmm. once I start talking about reparations for poor black people, all of a sudden you have every other demographic like, but you didn't experience it, but you didn't experience mm-hmm. it. I'm like, I'm experiencing it right now. The trickle down effect of trauma, it, right. it, it touches everybody. It touches, it touches my lineage because we still live in a society where a good portion of the people, you might not say it, you don't have to call yourself a racist, 
But, right. But you believe in negative stereotypes about black individuals. Right. Absolutely, they do. And those thoughts right there, they permeate our culture and they allow a young white man to punch an older black woman squarely in the face. And didn't even apprehend him. Didn't apprehend him when the police showed up. Did they apprehend him? The police came in and told the woman that she was wrong. She was wrong to ask for reparations from one of the largest corporations in America. Mm -hmm. Hey, Target, you get a lot of black dollars. And, and to watch that woman get punched in the face, Target, I'm talking directly to Target, the corporation. You need mm -hmm. to go into your pockets and find a trillion dollars. You ain't even a trillion dollar company. Go mm -hmm. find the money and give it to black folks for what they just did. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. I mean, this is one of those moments. This is her Rosa Parks moment. Mm -hmm. She said, don't, don't mess with me. This is my Rosa Parks moment. This is my Rosa Parks moment. And you said mental illness, but I know somewhere in her heart that she knew that I have to do something. Yeah, I guess that was her way. You know, I really felt like that energy could have been better placed, like, at Congress said, or some shit. We're not going to take it. I, 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 yeah, and I, I get it. But at Target, though, like, in the middle of the night, Man, I, you, you walking up on people like this little white girl ain't got nothing to do. I get it. I get the energy. I just feel like it was misplaced. Once you start thinking about how nasty this whole system is, when you mm. say the capitalistic ideology, right? Yeah, yeah. Our our government is bought and paid for. <laughs> oh, so that's why she went to Target. Target, Target is the. They, the they, rich. they send a lobbyist. Yeah. They send a lobbyist so they can continue <laughs> to profit off of poor folks. Mm. And so she knows that she ain't got no money to send no lobbyists to uh, Congress. <laughs> she ain't got it. She ain't got nobody to write a bill for her. She might go on a chat GPT and she could create a bill right quick. Mm. Uh, dear chat GPT, give me uh, uh, a bill to end uh, mm -hmm. for reparations. Not, yeah. I, I, you can't give me no bill to end racism. <laughs> I can't change what's in your heart. You right. look into your beautiful little heart and you know for sure that you don't like black ass me. I mean, <laughs> hey, be real about it. Everybody has some prejudice inside of them. They get mad at me. I say the greatest American alive and you say, how dare this nigga say the greatest American alive? Huh? I'm an American. Y'all brought me over here. I'm an American. And then, and then the people that I'm fighting for, the wonderful black individuals, they look at me and say, how dare this fucking coon say the greatest American alive? And I don't want to go back. Don't be telling me to go back nowhere. I ain't, mm -mm. Nigga, you don't know about the history of America. You don't know about slavery. You don't know about Jim Crow. You don't know about crack uh -huh. laws. Mm -hmm. Of course I do. Yeah, of course. I'm a black man in America. I fought for freedom. What have you done? Mm -hmm. What have you done for me? Like a bunch of do nothing ass motherfuckers have, a, have the audacity to say something to me. Mm -hmm. Come mm -hmm. punch me in the face. Yeah, right. <laughs> that nigga would have. He wouldn't even went back there. He would have ran out the store. It makes me so angry. Yeah, I'm so disappointed. And being, you know, a black woman as well in America, like it's like the type of pressure that you're under to be expected to be so submissive and soft, but then you get, it's like you get met with such an aggressiveness. Like how, how am I, how is a woman supposed to be so forgiving and all of that when you get met with shit like that, punched right in the fucking <laughs> face? Like we like on, on the psychological level, you knew, or you know that if it was his grandmother or a white woman who had a similar energy, because I've been a target, I've been to Walmart and you see some of these older white women in there talking about they want a refund. <laughs> my, my Mr. Coffee maker ain't making coffee no more. <laughs> and they be, man, woman, you done. Use I don't it. got my receipt. I don't need to have one. You've been using this coffee maker for the last <laughs> four months, woman. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How dare you? I watch egregious behavior all the time. If you go to you go to Walmart, Target, you go to customer service, and you see customers acting an ass. Mm -hmm. I don't see no videos of no uh, white Grammy getting punched in the face. Yeah, it sucks to take an L. It takes so much strength to be like, yeah, that's the story. That's what the cards that I've been given. How am I supposed to feel good about myself? When I first saw that video, I laughed. And yeah. then I thought about it. I put it in perspective. And I said, man, I wouldn't want my mother getting punched in the face. I wouldn't want my grandmother getting punched in the face. Mm -hmm. And if I seen that happen in real life, uh, what's that Kanye song? Uh, somebody's going to jail tonight. <laughs> yeah. <the laughs> Guess who's going up. to jail tonight? You hear me? <laughs> yeah. We're going to wipe the, we're going to clean target with your, with your. I laughed too. I, I told you, I, I was like, oh, this is the black Karen. Because it's funny as shit. I, I laughed too. I was like, damn. All of her credit cards got knocked across the floor and everything. Yeah. Like, the it, first thing I thought of, yeah, if somebody invades my space, I'm, but nah. It was a spectacle, but I can't even, they have it on camera. She didn't touch this person. Yes, she was coming into the office, but uh, 
They saw this man punch her and they told this woman that she was in the wrong. And I just can't stand forward. Thank you so much for being the uh, 2023 Rosa Parks. Yeah, right. <laughs> the new age Rosa Parks. I'm mad that they didn't, that he got to do that to her and nothing happened to him. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna get his. You think so? And I, and I hope and I hope the individuals wherever that was at, I hope the uh, wonderful black community descend upon that place and let them know with all the positive energy in the world, right? You will never put your hands on another black woman again. Yeah, and and maybe that's where it should start. If that's where she was asking for reparations, then maybe that's where some people need to go with some picket fences and start fighting for reparations. Yeah, hey, look, nonviolent, nonviolent, right? Yeah. But when you show up, man, yeah, yeah, that's pressure. Yeah. Send the message across. <laughs> That's pressure. You're going to get the message. You're going to get the message. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.